Hello and welcome, my name is Cameron and today we are taking this Tesla Model S P100D and putting it on the dyno. We're at BWA Auto in Sydney and they've got a beautiful Maha dyno and we're going to see how it goes. My name's Craig Wims, General Manager at BWA Auto here in Sydney. Given that the car doesn't have an internal combustion engine, we just weren't sure what we were going to get, how the car was going to behave, how it was going to respond, how the dyno would pick things up. The power measurement at the wheels we feel is pretty accurate because wheels are turning and, and um, we're able to measure what the car is putting down at the tyres. Uh, the torque measurement, torque is twisting effort. Um, whether it's a crankshaft and a flywheel or a shaft coming out of a motor, it's still turning. So the, the torque measurement that we're getting we feel is, is highly accurate. My name is Tim Willis. I'm the service manager and dyno operator here at BWA Auto. So obviously with a conventional car we build power and torque as we build RPM. Um, this is completely the opposite way where we've got all our power and all our torque um, right from the get-go. So that was the, the main difference. So the power curve is stacked at the start of it and it doesn't build, it kind of drops off because uh, we're not working with RPM being an electric vehicle. Uh, we could pretty much just go straight full, full throttle straight away. Uh, we didn't have to sort of roll into it or build boost pressure or anything like that. So it was quite a bit different to what I'm used to, but a uh, really great car designer. The torque figure though is infinitely unique. Um, it's an electric motor, so you do have that spike and almost a reverse, a, a bell curve as the torque tapers away. You get a, a peak torque and then it dies off, which is exactly how an electric motor behaves. Whereas an internal combustion engine, if it's naturally aspirated, peak torque will be higher up in the rev range. If it's a turbocharged engine, you see peak torque very early on. It holds it for a while with, through variable turbo technology and those sort of things, and then it starts to taper off. For a car with such an advanced all-wheel drive system, which is essentially a motor at the front, a motor at the back, um, a conventional dyno just wouldn't be able to handle it. This dyno has electric motors on both the front axle set and the rear axle set. Uh, and they're not connected, so there is a computer and uh, advanced electronics which is actually determining how fast the front roller set goes compared to the rear roller set. I'm pretty impressed with this thing, absolutely, it's just awesome. Nothing in internal combustion land that we've seen on this dyno gets close to 1400 newton metres. So there we have it folks, a P100D on a dyno in Australia for the first time ever. Power-wise, we made 394 kilowatts at the wheels and a whopping 1,400 newton metres of torque. That is just incredible. So there you have it. That's how much power a P100D will make in the real world, on the road. So look out next time you line up against one at the traffic lights.